What's going on, everybody? There is a lot to talk about this week. First off, Big Sean. I have always been from the camp of Big Sean can actually rap. People just have this image of him being corny, which he can be at times. I also want to shout out my haters. What up, y'all? Thank y'all for coming, man. <laughs> But I feel like that has stuck in people's heads, so everything he says now is corny. Some of his bars, I feel like if someone else said them, like Lil Wayne or J. Cole said them, then there wouldn't be any dispute of how great he is. All eyes on me, how I feel like I'm Truman, or we finna win it, cause I'm about to lose it. I don't give a fuck what computers is I go off a of field, no heads, he just shooting. But just recently, he dropped a freestyle. You know, when you really think about it, the term freestyle has definitely changed over the years. Freestyle, to me, is like wrecking. It comes off the top of the dome. Nowadays, freestyles are just, what they really mean is there is no hook. There's no chorus it's just them spitting their bars but they definitely are not freestyling this they wrote this down anyway let's listen to a couple of bars from big sean's whole time but 200 million records up though it isn't a dream even if you was my son you couldn't belittle me first off let me start by saying he put subtitles in this for a reason this man is tired of y'all misinterpreting mishearing his bars i get to snapping on it but never was the weakest link i might have been a sneaky link she know if she get a shot with me the bitch gonna get a buzz and i don't mean it Anyone who says this man is not f rapping, let me not curse. Anyone who says this man is not rapping like the rent is due. I used to be held back and high behind fear, but fear is just false evidence appearing real. You hating, bro. You hate, and that's okay. Some people we need haters. I respect that. Maybe you like hating. I can't knock that. Yeah, I just haven't had the energy to compete with enemies or y'all so-called bigger three. Huh. But let's talk about this line right here. It is not a so-called big three, Bubba. Anytime someone says so-called in quotations, they're trying to downplay the subject at hand when they know damn well why the majority of people think like that. Let them be the big three. If you don't admit that they're the big three, then you are not fighting from a deficit. You are fighting from a deficit. You're the underdog. Be the underdog. Because if you are realistically saying that you are bigger than Drake, J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, my brother, you are being disingenuous and or delusional. This coming from a guy who historically likes Big Sean. As much as I love Big Sean, as much as I love 2088, been listening since Detroit when I was in high school. Before that, it is the big three. Sometimes you gotta just know your place in the world because all the buzz that was surrounding this left as soon as one of the so-called big three came out to play. On top of Big Sean, we get Kendrick Lamar and Future from future and metro boomins we don't trust you these niggas talking out of their neck don't put no coughing out of your mouth i'm way too paranoid for a threat hey hey let's get it bro we're gonna have to chop this up a couple times because of copyright but listen to the bars he is not playing yeah yeah get up with me fuck sneak this and first person shooter i hope they came with three switches i crash out like but yeah he didn't pull any punches here this is directly aimed at drake and j cole unfortunately he didn't mention big shot this time motherfuck the big three nigga it's just big me nigga bum I'm really like that. On here, Future is also taking shots at Drake because apparently they had a fallen out. You a nigga number one fan, dog. Sneak this and I don't understand, dog. Pillow talking, acting like a fed, dog. I don't need another fake friend. So unfortunately, we won't get any more classics. You know what I need from you when I get home. At least not anytime soon. Hopefully, this stays contained within rap and we don't have anyone talking about dead mothers and stuff like that. Because then, at that point, to me, it becomes distasteful. But if we're keeping it competitive, I'm all for this shit. Let's take a second to talk about the big three, though. For those of you who don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't, but the big three are Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar. Their placement is dependent on you. But there are things that you cannot deny from each artist that we all kind of understand. You cannot deny Drake's star power. He has the Midas touch. You cannot deny J. Cole's bars. The pin is lethal and you cannot deny Kendrick Lamar's artistry. I will stand by my opinion that if we're talking bar for bar, J. Cole beats Kendrick Lamar. I'm not saying it'll be easy. I'm not saying he's going to sun him, but in my opinion, J. Cole got it bar for bar. If we're talking about making a song though, Kendrick Lamar got that. I've seen some people talk about how Kendrick Lamar doesn't come outside enough and he's the only artist that we give a pass to have a long hiatus. But to me, that just kind of proves the point that Kenny Lamar is that guy. People will always come back to listen to a Kenny Lamar album or a song. If this is like rap civil war, lines are being drawn right now. It's not Captain America and Iron Man. It's J. Cole and Kendrick. We're going to see how this plays out. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Kendrick Lamar and Future have more star power than J. Cole and Drake? Who do y'all think had the best song so far? I had a first person shooter and I'm like that. Also, let me know where do you think Big Sean is comparatively speaking to these other artists? Is he in your top 10? Is he in your top five? Is he complete ass to you? 
let's get a little dialogue started in the comments. But also, more importantly, y'all, we have reached 3,000 subs. I want to say thank you. If I could shake all of your hands, I would. I want to give a special shout out to all my day ones. You know who you are. These people have definitely given me motivation to keep going. Because there have been times where I'm like, man, is this working? And is, is this worth it? And I always see comments from these people. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate the rest of you as well. To close out the video, we are announcing the winner to the contest. Here's how I picked the winner. There were six videos published since I announced the video contest. I rolled the comments for all those videos. They came up with a random person. That person got put into another drawing. And from that, the winner is Egg, our Canadian friend. Congratulations, my boy. I will get with you email or something like that. I'll contact you because people be scamming out here. Somebody, somebody might change their name to your name. Egg pulled up to every video, watched every video, commented on every video, and the rest was up to the comment picker. I did nothing else. Congratulations again, man. When we get to 5k, I'm going to be giving away a another 250 on top of that i'm gonna be doing a q a not live y'all can ask me pretty much anything about music movies tv shows really anything if i think it's inappropriate then i probably won't answer it but but yeah this is our first step to making a wonderful community there's some wonderful people here a lot of respectful grown people here that i appreciate and yeah let's continue to make this community larger share a video or two with some like-minded people because you already know you belong here let someone else know that they belong here y'all be safe <laughs>